hello everyone and welcome back to this video so in today's video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade spot on the maxi exchange and how to actually make up to 100 to 150 dollars daily okay trading spot on the maxi exchange one good thing you should know about the maxi exchange is that when trading spot on the maxi exchange you trade that with zero fee so it is a go-to place and if you're in the us you don't need to worry about kyc you don't need to worry about using vpn to trade on the maxi exchange so to trade spot all you just need to do is to come in here to the Maxi, I'm using the web version of it. So once you log into your account, if you don't have a Maxi account already, use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and start trading spot on the Maxi exchange with zero fee. So if I come in here, I'll go to spot, click on the spot trading option here, and that will take us to the spot trading interface, okay? So I'll just show you a quick strategy you can use to start making a lot of money trading spot on the Maxi exchange. So once this load up, all right, once this load up, now by default, the chart here will be on the original okay so make sure you switch to the trading view the trading view will give you a better you know option to chart the whatever token you want to trade okay and all of that all right so here we are uh, currently on the trading view option now that we are here the next thing we want to do here is to go ahead and select the token that we want to start trading so here is the list of the trade uh, tokens that you can start trading on the maxi exchange all right so we are on the usdt pair right and everything you see here will be against the usdt right if you want to trade with the usdc you can do that btc pairs busd pairs and all of that you can do that but we are going to be trading with you know usdt so if i come in here and type in btc for instance okay so here we have btc usdt go ahead and select that and that will load up okay on the chart so this is the btc chart right here at the top here, you see the summary current price of BTC is this. You see the changes in the past 24 hours, the turnover, and all of that. Okay, you see all of that here. And um, basically, if I now scroll down, so if I scroll down here, here is where you have your other books for, for sellers, and then you have your other books. You have your other books for buys, okay? And then all of this, you have the market trace, all of that. Then the, your selection of pairs will be this area here. So if I scroll down here, this is where you do the buying and selling for the Maxi Exchange, okay? Make sure that you're on the spot trading interface, and this is where we're going to be buying. Remember, for limit order, if we're buying, the price has to be lower, okay? Below the current market price. And then if you are selling, the price has to be higher, than the current market price but if you want to buy btc currently with the current market price we'll just go ahead and click on market and then we can just put in the amount of btc we want to buy here um and, and then if you use the slider here it will select the whole capital you have on your spot trading account okay and all of that so you can do that and go ahead and click on the buy option here and you're buying and trading btc or any other pair here with zero fee okay then if you want to sell you come back here now, when you see an opportunity, based on the strategy I'm going to show you, you can buy with either market order and sell with limit order. You can buy with limit order and equally sell with limit order and all of that. All right? So now that we have selected BTC, how do we know when to buy and when to sell? All right? You already know that this is where you do your buying and selling, okay? You put in the amount here, click here and buy. And then, you know, um, the same thing, you put in the amount here, click here and sell. So how do we know when to buy and sell? We use this chatting platform, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on this to maximize that, okay? To put that on the full screen. And currently we are on the monthly time frame. So I want you to go to the one hour time frame, guys. Okay, go to the one hour time frame. Currently we have the volume indicator here. Let's just take that out. Now when we take that out, okay? There are two indicators that you are going to use. So first, go to the indicators tab here, this option here, click on it, and that will pop up the indicators dialog box. So here you want to type the first indicator to use is the RSI, okay? Type that and add that to your chart. And then the second indicator will be the Bollinger Bands, okay? So if I just type bull here, you see the Bollinger Bands, this first one here, that is the one you are going to use. So go ahead and add that to your chart, okay? You can do this with any pair of your choice. All right, you can do this with any pair of your choice. I'm doing this currently with BTC, but this you can do with any pair of your choice, guys. Okay.
Now, one thing you want to notice here is that oftentimes the price of this um, asset will always move in between the bands, okay? You will see it will move in between the bands, all right? So here, this is what the Bollinger Band looks like, okay? So we have the upper band, we have the middle band, and then we have the lower band. You don't need to do any setting on these indicators, all right? So just put it and just use it that way, okay? So oftentimes, you'll see that price will move in between the bands, and then when price goes outside of the bands that is when you start paying attention there all right remember this is spot trading you only buy low and sell high so you want to buy low and sell high so the way we use this strategy is very simple okay the combination of the rsi and the bollinger band works this way whenever you see the you know um trades okay you see this candlestick trading at the lower band and almost going outside the lower band you want to pay attention to your rsi Okay, you want to pay attention to your RSI. So here, remember the way we use the RSI when it is below 30, anything this down line here is 30 below. Okay, anything below that, for instance, here, RSI actually got down to 25. So when the RSI is here and this, uh, you know, uh, candlesticks are trading at the lower band and even shooting outside of the band, you want to start looking for a buy trade. Okay, you want to start looking for a buy trade. For instance, we would have bought right here. Okay would have bought this coin right here when it dropped to this level here at 28700 so if i come in here and bring my long position to so we would have entered here okay and then if our risk reward ratio is a one to two or whatever it is we'll target that area there okay and then that is when we would have sold our btc okay put a stop loss down there then if you wait okay remember i'm doing this on the one hour time frame if you wait the only way place you want to sell is when the rsi begins to go above the 50 percent level and up to the 70 percent level that is when you want to consider selling so if you have waited for this let's say you bought here and you waited for this coin to go up to that overbought level that up there all right this area here when rsi was around 77 upward that is when we would have sold okay so this would have taken you around if i go ahead and measure this let's say how, let's see how long this would have taken you before you would have made profit let's say we bought here and then we waited for this to get up here so this would have taken you at a day three hours okay a day three hours this is you know a good profit and this would have given you around 3.6 percent within just you know 27 hours or thereabout this would have given you 3.6 percent okay and then you wait again for the market to drop all right drop to the overboard level always make sure that rsi is at the overboard level guys all right it, it you know anything below 30 that is when you want to be looking to buy just like we got down here okay yeah rsi went below 30 right rsi went below 30 so if you have paid attention here and bought here then you would have been in profit already so this is a strategy you will use a combination of the bollinger bands and the rsi and start making profit daily in the market all right so you only wait for the rsi to go to the oversold level and then wait that the you know candlesticks are trading at the lower band of the bollinger bands okay you buy and then when rsi start going up okay at the overbought level wait that the candlesticks on the bollinger bands are trading at that level you go ahead and sell all right so guys that is basically everything you need to know okay use the bollinger bands a combination of the bollinger bands and the rsi to make decision most especially for you who is a beginner okay there are other indicators that can actually give you buys and sell signals to make money but the most important thing here is that whatever you are trading here whether you trade with market order with limit order you are not paying any fee okay so this can help you to make a hundred dollar fifty dollar depending on your trading capital hundred dollar fifty dollar one fifty dollars two hundred dollars every day trading spot on the maxi exchange i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up and if you don't have a maxi account once again sign up with the link in the video description and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe okay and join our daily live streaming where we trade live every day and start making money for yourself guys okay that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next video